Hey, hey, y'all. Welcome to the kitchen of love and light. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? I'm coming to you because it is the beginning of September and we are going to be looking at some more hearty recipes and I'm wanting to bring y'all along as I create something. Every time I make a, a recipe it's different because it depends on what I have on hand and, and what looked at like it was radiating at a, a high vibrancy, right? So we're going to create a hearty butternut squash recipe for a soup. Um, I got these already peeled and cubed up do you see so very handy and very easy so let me sit you over here and you can come along as we create a delicious soup if you can sit still i have this new case on my phone that's like a battery case and um it's great but it's curved so you want to fall in the sink you know so here's what we're going to have okay i have some vine ripe tomatoes they're they're about this size okay so just medium tomatoes these smell so good you can really tell tell the quality of a tomato by the smell you know so first in the bottom of our Vitamix our high speed blender we're going to put in two tomatoes because we want to have some moisture in there okay hang on let me get a towel call please okay then I have this is about two and a half cups two and a fourth to two and a half cups of butternut squash, okay, going in there. And then I have one whole lime that's peeled. You could use lemon. You could use about a, a quarter of a cup of apple cider vinegar if you don't have that. Now this is the um, what came seaweed that I've had soaking here. This is a quarter cup of walnuts. You can use a little less if you want, a little more if you want more fat for the meal. Also, this is about a tablespoon of the seaweed, which is going to give it some salty, and it's got just a little bit of moisture in there. I think um, we'll go ahead and add that, okay? Okay. Then, I'm going to start out with, with two dates, pitted, of course, and we're going to see if we need more of that, and I have, um, this is some fresh cracked black, um, actually it was multi- colored peppercorn pepper and a little bit of red pepper flakes okay just to your tasting to your liking you know okay so let's get this blending and see what we need so when you have the moist the more moist items in the bottom it helps to pull it down it makes it easier on the blender on the taste we might want to add something you can blend this up until it is even warm to touch in your Vitamix and then it's still raw or frankly you've had all raw today and maybe it's cold tonight and you want just a little something hearty so blend it up to hot even in here and you know if you're not totally concerned about being all raw serve it over a big with a big bed of um, greens to help it digest mm. That needs nothing. That is very, very delicious. Let me get it blending. Let me see if it needs any more water. No, I think I'll have it. I think I'll have it thick. to like it okay so this is what it looks like very thick okay then 
look, you can see everything now, can you not? So what we want to usually do after you pour is like stir. This is very hearty. You could even, if you want it a little thinner, you could do um, one more tomato or a little more water in there if you want. Then I've got some green peppers that I'm going to just sprinkle on top to give it a little texture and add its flavor, okay? And then I have a little bit more of this seaweed that I like to add at the end because it gives it a little crunch. It's almost like a little croutons, you know? Okay. So look, this is how it looks. Do y'all see? See how beautiful? Y'all, that was like no time at all. I've never even put those specific items together again. When you start to create these things on your own, it becomes so easy. It becomes your I can instead of I can't. You know, when you're coming home from work and you're thinking, well, I want something heartier than just a salad. Okay, me too, you know, so have something heartier. I wouldn't just have this, even though it's very large, I would also have a big salad, you know. If I wanted to even cut the fat in that, I could cut it down some. I could have split my fat with a little fat in my dressing for my salad. Or um, I could even have veggies to dip in that, make it a little thicker than that if you want. It's all this easy every dang day, you know. Try that. I think you'll like it. See you later, alligators.